Welcome back to another Mind Test Mod Review. Today we are looking at the Point of Interest mod, which, as you can very well guess, adds a easy, simple to use way of visiting points of interest. Without further ado, we open the GUI with, not with PIT, with POI underscore GUI, and that gives us a list of points of interest. So if we want to visit Light at the End of the Tunnel, we can either double click, as it says here, or we can single click and hit the go button if we want. Um, just to demonstrate, double clicking does work as well. We hit quit to leave and we see our point of interest. Now, one little tidbit to note, points of interest store your look direction. So if we look, go back to light at the end of the tunnel, we are looking at the light at the end of the tunnel. Now, I don't actually know if it's safe to walk through here, so I'm not even going to bother trying. But yes, we have a light at the end of the tunnel. If you're using World Inventory, I'm just gonna mention this before I forget, there will be a button added down on the bottom bar with all of the other buttons. Um, the, the Eiffel Tower, I believe, is in the background and there's something in front of it. I do not remember. Um, but yeah, it does have a button. Otherwise, as alluded to earlier, you can open it with the chat command, POI underscore GUI. You do need to have the interact privilege to get here. So we can go and can visit this dark abyss. Um, yeah, it's, it looks like a pretty dark, scary hole. And we can fall off and almost die. So we will try not to do that. Now, this mod also has a way for setting points of interest. No surprises there. Again, we open the GUI with the POI underscore GUI command, and we click the Manage POI, and then we, uh, we can do it. So we have a variety of things. These are existing points of interest, and you can see on the right here in this box, we have a list of categories. So we have the Dark Abyss as a cave, Dungeons as a building. Well, Dungeons really shouldn't be a building, that should be a cave. So we're going to click Cave, and then we're going to Set Point or Change Category. And now we get a chat command, or a chat message here saying, uh, Dungeon at this location in Category Buildings, change to Category Caves. We can also rename it. So we can say Light at the End of the Tunnel. That's a really long name. Let's just do Light at the End. We can change that, and we can click this and um, that did not work we had to hit the rename button okay my bad let us remove uh, do we just click this that's what we do we just click that okay so we want this and we just do light at the end click rename there we go renamed perfect and now if we visit here I think actually we have to be not in the management screen to do that. If we go too late at the end, hey, that works. Perfect. All right. Um, I also could have hit the back button, and then I'll take us back to here. The manage POI button is only visible to people who have the, I believe, POI privilege. So you can make sure that, you know, only people that should be creating and setting these are. Um, we can move locations as well. So if we have an already existing name and category and we decided that light at the end, you know what, we didn't want it to really be quite here. We really want it to be pointing to right there. Well, we can pull it up and we can do manage POI light at the end and we can click move and it will now store the new look direction and position, which I think the position say the same. We just changed where we were looking. Uh, I'm not really sure what the validate button does. No invalid POI found. Okay. Uh, reload just refreshes the list. So you'll see here that we have a list of different options here. Um, as far as I know, there's not a way to add any different categories in. Um, probably on the back end in the code, you could do that if you were interested. Um, but yeah, we have a list of everything here, but if you want to narrow down your options, maybe you only want to visit buildings. Mm, I don't have any buildings. 
Maybe you want to visit landscapes. Okay, we have Sandy Beach and Unreachable Lake. Well, let's visit the Unreachable Lake because it's unreachable, I guess. Oh, yeah, I remember setting this. It's, yeah, pretty much, um... Well, let's hope we don't die. That was deep. But we didn't die. Um... Well, I can like, just throw some stone there so we can stand on that. Let's pull up the gooey back and let's go over to the sandy beach. Ah, what a beautiful sandy beach. So, of course, it goes without saying that you can use this on a server to set up all the different categories. We have lands. Oh, why does it automatically? That does something weird. General, buildings, markets, landscapes, caves, museums, education, recreation. And if you don't want to be sorted to any single category here, you can click the show all button and that will just show all of them. And that's, uh, that's pretty much it. It doesn't add a, so like we're at the Sandy Beach right now. It doesn't add any sort of in-world marker to let anybody know that, hey, this is point of interest Sandy Beach and just add the teleport location. Um, no, I'm kind of interested in, say somebody came along and you know, built something in a point of interest. I mean, technically you would think that if somebody's gonna make a point of interest, it would probably be in a protected area, so this couldn't happen. But let's just, just for kicks and giggles, let's see what happens. Okay, I am teleported inside of stone, um, but I could get out of it. So not the hugest issue in the world. Let me go ahead and try this validate button again. No invalid found. Okay. See, I'm not really sure what that's checking for or doing, um, but clearly it's not checking if there's airspace at all the points of interest. But if somebody did end up inside of a node, they can walk out of it. Now, if somebody had just built a cage with the space in the middle, you could end up stuck inside of it. However, you really wouldn't be stuck because you could just pull the point of interest back up and go and visit a different point and you would be freed from your captivity. So, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much the mod. Uh, as you saw, you can do this during gameplay. You don't need to restart the server for the points to show up or anything. Um, making it perfect when there's a handful of people that are making points and you don't wanna to have to be restarting the server every time somebody adds some new points. Links and everything are always on my website, which is linked down in the video description. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week for another video, and I will see you then.